This is the East Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Sunday, August 18, 2024. Key points to go over is we are expecting isolated to scattered thunderstorms both this afternoon and also on Monday. Brief heavy downpours, strong gusty outflow winds, and small hail will be possible. Dry weather will return to the region on Tuesday. This will bring near critical winds and relative humidities to portions of the central mountains and the hills south of Burley. Looking at our satellite image today, you see the onset of that monsoonal moisture we've been talking about rising up out of Utah and moving into uh, central and eastern Idaho. In terms of our weather risk outlook, we're still looking for isolated scattered thunderstorms across much of east Idaho uh, this afternoon. And, uh, there is a possibility that uh, we may end up uh, issuing a red flag warning later this afternoon if we uh, see that the storms become more scattered in nature. Right now they're kind of uh, on the edge and uh, at this point we've uh, opted to not issue a red flag at this point. Uh, on Monday, uh, chances for thunderstorms, uh, especially isolated scattered thunderstorms, become a little bit more uh, widespread and once again there's a risk of a red flag warning for thunderstorms on Monday across much of the region. Tuesday we do dry out, but we do have some wind and some lower humidities to drill, deal with. And this will be mainly across uh, much of central Idaho. And uh, the winds in the Snake Plain don't look quite as strong. It'll be mainly up in the central mountains and the South Hills region. So looking at our weather risk outlook for today, you notice that much of the area it does have a chance for thunderstorms. But this area in darker green has a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms. So be on the lookout especially uh, late this afternoon and this evening for strong thunderstorms. Look at our high temperatures today. Once again, pretty uh, temperatures pretty close to normal, generally setting right around 90 in many of our valleys. Humidity levels today uh, touch higher than what we saw yesterday, generally in the 20s out west and then uh, closer to the 30s in the uh, eastern part of the uh, southern and central and eastern Idaho. Wind gusts uh, today outside of thunderstorms, uh, generally in the 15 to 25 mile per hour range. Severe weather outlook for tomorrow, this is a little misleading. It's probably a little bit further west than what we're showing here, but right now the latest uh, outlook is uh, mainly across much of east Idaho, but once again, we do think there could be an isolated storm or two, even as far back as Stanley and perhaps around the Burley area and Sun Valley and those places as well. High temperatures on Monday, uh, very similar, maybe a little cooler than what we see on Sunday. Uh, generally, once again, upper 80s to around 90s in many of the valleys. Humidity values uh, touch drier out in the uh, central Idaho region, uh, generally mid to upper teens out there, but uh, ranging to 30s, even some 40s out in the eastern highlands. And then Monk Peak wind gusts uh, Monday, a little bit breezier across the region, generally sitting in the 20 to 25 mile per hour range. Severe weather outlook for Tuesday, uh, it's all north of us. Uh, we should be dry across most of the region. And uh, high temperatures, uh, pretty close to normal once again, upper 80s to around 90. Humidity levels, yes, they are uh, drier uh, with the uh, lack of thunderstorms around so we're flirting with the near critical levels of humidity of 15 percent or lower and then those wind gusts are going to be getting very close to 25 miles per hour especially up in the mountains and down in the highlands uh, the criteria in the uh, snake plain magic valley is a little bit higher I'm looking for more like 30 mile per hour gust there i don't think we'll see those right now so just summarize isolated scattered storms today and on Monday, brief heavy downpours, strong gusty outflow winds, and small hail as possible. Dry weather returns on Tuesday, bringing near critical winds and humidity across the central mountains and portions of the hills south of Burley. That concludes this morning's briefing. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Thank you.